they were about set for a start. Turnbull and Madden face each other. Madden wins the first hit. It goes to Mitchell, playing his 200th game today. High bouncing ball grabbed by White. Matera and Bradley is the matchup on the wing. Turley went to ground. Great hands by McKenna. Bradley for Carlton. A high ball short of centre half forward. Madden's there. Punch from behind by Turnbull. Hart overruns. Whoa. Williams tries to soccer off the ground. Oh, Madden a throw over his head. Kuda Fidi's kicked the goal, but it won't count. A free kick to the Eagles back at centre half back. Oh, and all the Carlton supporters are standing and waving flags. I don't think they realise it was a free kick. It's Chris Main wearing. Half back. To centre wing. Matera. Oh, great mark. Terrific by Matera. Rings it in the woods for what played Silvani. Well played. Here's a chance. Oh, smothered off the boot. A ball. Taken away by Kemp. Well played by Dean Kemp. That is intelligent football. And on the left foot he has hit Ashley McIntosh on in the midriff. So some doubt about McIntosh. He's got his before the game, he's got his left knee with some sort of a brace on it, similar to Jason Dunstall's brace. Yep. There it is. And it looks like uh, it's been specifically designed for knee problems. So this terrific utility player, I'll call him, because he can play up and down the spine, Ashley McIntosh. From 55 metres, probably won't make the distance. He won't. Up towards the square, it's thumped over the back. Here's Ratton. Third revealed to Barry Mitchell, and Mitchell brings it to the centre of the ground. Over half-back he goes. Mark dropped by White. Turley, a little bit of a throwback to Mainwaring. The kick by Mainwaring inside centre-half forward. All Carlton. No mark taken. Hurry kick for goal, scores! Ball kicked it. Well, I was looking for the mark to be paid. Certainly Michael Sexton was the player to go back there and take the mark and should have made a better fist of the effort there. The ball, as we see, will travel over the head of Turnbull and he has the opportunity just to turn here. Sexton's dropped what he should have taken and Turnbull, very agile for a big man, slots through the Eagles' first goal. So, great start for the Eagles. First goal, scored by Jason Ball. Oh, Ryan Turnbull, well played, a 20-metre thump, taken by Mitchell. Mitchell's given it to Matera. Peter Matera on the left foot centers it. That's great play, Matera. It finds Lewis. Gee, that was terrific vision, Peter Matera. It certainly is. And uh, the matchup between he and Bradley out there, it's a, a big move by David Parkin. And this will allow Matera great influence in it. He knew exactly where the ball needed to go, and Chris Lewis was there. So Lewis, with the second goal in two minutes by the Eagles from directly in front. Chris Lewis drags it across his body. And has kicked a behind. Gee, that would have been a handy start with two quick goals like that. But uh, good play by Matera not to blaze away. Crystal brings the ball in for the Blues. Matera swap wings, but two defeaties jumps all over him. Doesn't take the mark. Hurry kick marked by Williams. Greg Williams a poor game in Sydney last week. Matera Very slow down to get Matera. Very slow. You wouldn't expect Greg Williams to play two shoppers in a row. One of the Brownlow favourites. Here's Spalding. Keeps it low for Cunningham. Free kick. Free kick to uh, come no. back down the ground. It's coming back to Earl Spalding, who's on the cricket pitch area. Too far out to score. To the goal square. Jakovic punches, but only for Cunningham. A snap back. Is off line and behind. So first quarter the Blues are behind. And there's the Eagles bench. Bond is there and Michael Brennan we saw there, the fullback holding his mouth down. Now Guy McKenna always kicks in and that's the reason why Mitchell White. Hand pass looking for Turley. Turley's got it. Quick hands back towards centre wing. Socket off the ground. Here's Peter Wilson. A hurry kick to the half forward line, then nice mark taken by Sexton. Kick by Sexton to centre half back, Mitchell. Barry Mitchell, great to see him playing his 200th game. 170 for Sydney and 13 in one season for Collingwood. Madden in front, can't take the mark. There's Williams. 
with plenty of time back to Bradley. Djakovic and Kernahan. What a contest that will be. It comes for Deason. Taken out of bounds, the bear. And a throw in in the forward pocket. But if Carlton are to win, players like Gleeson and Mitchell really have to do round, well round the packs. Kernahan's in for a tough game on Djakovic, who was supreme on Kiri last week. There's Djakovic. Worsfold. Back to the line. Good play, John Worsfold. And he's vital to the Eagles. He didn't play against Hawthorne. They missed his toughness across half-back. He gives a lot of strength to the whole side, uh, not only in the way he plays, but the way in which he leads his players. Currently 14, expected 15. Here's Williams from the pocket. Mitchell got a fingernail to it. And it's run through by Mainwaring. It's a great match up there. Chris Mainwaring and Anthony Kudafidis on the wing. Terrific matchups everywhere. And now, Williams is down on the outer side. Belted Ooh. down way off the ball. Oh, Jakovic. Yeah. And Williams is down again. Turley. And Turley's going into the book. And I think everybody on the ground saw something there. Now, because it's a report, we won't be showing it back. But it's certainly sparking up this game between the top two on the ladder. And uh, I think it's fair to say that Williams is regarded as a key by the Eagles. Certainly. We would not have expected anything less in this, this type of a game. There is a lot to be played for here by Carlton. They need to redeem their performance last week. They need to redeem their performance in round seven against the Eagles in, in Perth. And if they are going to attack the Eagles throughout the final series this year, this is a crucial game. So Greg Williams, he will kick from 50. It was bad play by the Eagles because but after Guy McKenna's kicking, they were off and running. They had the loose man. So Greg Williams right on 50. Oh, he ran close to the man on the mark. It's a high floating kick. He drifts it just out of kicking distance for Williams. And that caused the inaccuracy in the finish. There's Craig Turley, who has obviously been reported. Len Jakovic, I'm looking forward to that clash. And Robert Wiley's having plenty to say to Turley. Now, Evans, Tony Evans, the half back towards the centre wing area. I would say Carlton's kicking the aid of a slight breeze. Williams receives from Bradley. Centering kick. Mainwaring at the back. Also Kernahan. He taps it back. Mainwaring low off. Free kick, Mainwaring. Must be. And Mainwaring loves playing against Carlton. His effort last start in round seven was a, a dominant game. Both he and Peter Materia controlled, Materia controlled the wings and they could well do it again here today. White and Spalding. Oh, fumble there by Matera. Chance for Bradley. Little hand pass in, but he can't get it inboard enough. And the ball over the boundary line. Craig Bradley, four possessions early on the danger man, Peter Matera. There's a lot of body clashes going on. This could really warm up a cool afternoon. So there's kick in midair by Andrew McKay over the line. But there's a real intensity about this game. You can feel it. You, yeah. you can, Peter. There is a lot at stake for both sides. An interesting move there by David Parkin, putting Bradley in on Matera. Bradley wasn't good last week against uh, young Daniels in Sydney. And it's looking to get another string to the bowl, Bradley, as we approach the finals. Well, that was Peter Matera collecting that hit out from Ryan. Ryan Turnbull's been a real surprise packet. He was... A bit of a bits of player for a while. They weren't sure where to play him. They found a position for him in the last time they met West Coast annihilated Carlton 16-19 to 6-13 at Subiaco. Oh, that's almost a throw. Williams, Mitchell, trying to get in a hand pass. He eventually does. There's Alvin appealing for a free kick. John Worsfold using strength, but he loses the ball to Mitchell. Mitchell trying to get it back towards the direction of Bradley. Look at the pressure on. This is a good game of football. Don Pike kicks it to centre wing. Now he did a bounce first to Ditt, so it'll be a throw in right on centre wing. Perfect kick by Pike. You see how hot that football was. The bookies can't split them. Five to four on both of them. Turley, the crowd booing him. He was the man who was nearest when Williams went down twice. Ball smothered off the boot out of bounds. He 
looks so different, Craig Turley, to uh, a couple of years ago where he had that long flowing locks. So it's on centre wing. Madden with the big arms up he goes. He's looking down there in the direction of Hannah. Peter Wilson wearing the gloves. I think looking around the ground, he is the only player on the ground wearing gloves. Peter Wilson. Sometimes Guy McKenna wears them. Oh no, there's uh, Ryan Turnbull. He's got them on. So Turnbull versus Madden. Madden's big left hand comes over and taps it back towards the line. And look at the a sellout crowd. Well, you'd say 95% 90, of the Carlton supporters. Strange, actually, to see McKenna not wearing the gloves. Madden's had a stellar season. Palms this one down in the direction of Bradley. Matera got a boot to the ball. Here's Pike. Hand pass. Trouble for you, McKenna. Now Matera. Hurried kick. Every kick in this game's a hurried kick. Sexton did well. Dean. I think it was a trip. accidental trip so Sexton to take the free kick over centre wing one goal one west coast Carlton two behinds Spalding the kick by Spalding Kernahan with Jakovic Kernahan and this clash between these two champions could nearly decide this game that was a great mark. Uh, Kernahan was leading strong and he held the straight line onto the ball all the way. Was not budged whatsoever by Jakovic's attempt on the body. Very strong. Great effort. Breeze at his back. The Blues have used up 10 minutes of wind assisted time without a goal. They need this. Got him. And Carlton did need that goal there. They the, with the assistance of the Breeze, had not been able to utilise the ball as well as they wanted to. But this has got to be the focal point of the whole forward line for Carlton. They are missing players who have been their goal kickers throughout the year in Bond, Cook and Brett Heaver. A lot of responsibility goes to Stephen Kernahan here today. Jakovic, a good match-up to him. Carlton by a point. Madden and Turnbull. Don Pye can't get his boot to it. Here's Gleeson going in after it. Was grabbed. Oh. Well, he was grabbed, but he was hovering over the ball. The umpire deemed it holding the man. Adrian Gleeson brings it in towards the half forward line. The Eagle. Kernahan can't get his second bite to it. Oh, laying the tackle with main wearing players crashing into the pack. I reckon the umpire will pluck a free kick out of this. I wouldn't be surprised to the West Coast. Yes, yes, you can bet on it because the Carlton Ste player dived into the pack stupidly. Steve Kernahan came in a little bit aggressively to assert his influence on the match. I wonder if that's a payback to Turley, but Turley was the man. Good mark, Ryan Turnbull on centre wing. He can give it over here to Hart. Now Hart is one of the best kicks in the team. He runs 10 metres and brings it to half with Ashley McIntosh. Good play. Free kick McIntosh. Oh, he paid the mark. So McIntosh could not kick it from 50. This time he'll have to kick it from about 46 metres. But up into the breeze. This side of the ground usually at Carlton's a lot easier to kick goals from than the other. So he would be some sort of chance, McIntosh. Or he kicked from 48 when he's a typical left footer. He must have been watching Peter Sumich, I think, too. And he's gone to the old hook foot. And there's Peter Sumich. He's got a tough task on Silvani. Scores level. And the umpires will have their work cut out today. Andrew Coates, Dennis Rich and Trevor Garrett. And Christou kicks in. Massive kick. Silvani offers the shepherd. Dean punches on. All Carlton here. The hand pass Sexton to Mitchell. Hannah way up from defence. Mill Hannah from 55 metres out. Touched off the boot. Play on. To the pocket. Kernahan's there. And Jakovic beats him to it and sees it out. You, you wonder if that's a good move. Jakovic is going on to Kernan because you take him away from centre-half back, aren't you, Terry? He's been in tremendous form across the half-back line with a little bit of freedom to move. I perhaps would have given the opening opportunity to the regular full-back in Brennan and yeah. allowed Jakovic to go at centre-half back. Yeah, you do wonder about that at time. Maybe with the breeze, he might go to centre-half back. I think so, yes. It might not be as, in, as vital a match-up up into the breeze in the next quarter. So obviously, they realise Mick Malthouse thinking that Kernahan's the key. 
There's Steve Kernahan. Jakovic, oh, big thumb. Well done. Big thumb back towards Turley. Williams. Oh, well played, Greg Williams. From 40 metres, the Carlton champ has missed. One behind. But it's amazing how the ball follows those good players. 1-3 to 1-2, a point in favour of the West Coast. Uh, Carlton, I should say. Well, certainly following Williams. He's had seven possessions already, Greg Williams. Well, McKenna, not sure this time. Main wearing. The Blues almost conceded that kick in. And so, well, do it again if you like, because there's been no gain in territory for the West Coast Eagles. And there's no problem in that. I think every side is quite prepared to allow that first short one away. Turn a hand front of the pack. Can't take the mark this time. Spills back to Hogg. Breaks a tackle. Ugly old kick onto the chest of Main Waring. Now they can go to the outer side, the Eagles. Jakovic with plenty of run. He's 60 metres away from Kernahan. Going for a bounce. Kicked by Jakovic to centre wing. McIntosh is there. Dean with him. It comes to the back, grabbed by Bradley. Bradley's kick, a high one to half forward. All the Eagles and Warsfold marks. See, they've got a good back line. Well, both sides have got terrific back lines, Terry. As we see John Worsfold centre wing diving on well when you dive on top of uh, that it can be fraught with danger. Certainly can. Um, you need to Peter Dean. The, the game needs to be kept moving at all times, particularly in this opening bit where goals are going to be vital to the Carlton side. Well I don't think Carlton have used this end very well actually. The Eagles doing very, very well. Here's Hannah feeling for the free kick. Good umpiring. Good umpiring to let that go when Hannah was staging for a free kick and the umpire didn't fall for it. Well, one thing's for sure, it's not going to be a cricket score here today. Carlton managed only six goals when they played the Eagles over in Perth and uh, a lot of their goal kickers are out of the side. Two best back lines in the league, Drew. Well, oh, it'll be tight. There won't be much in it. Pike's hand pass. Gleeson sees it over the boundary line and will have a throw in on the 50. Eagles in attack. A bit of protection from the Robert Heatley stand there. Carlton 1-3. West Coast 1-2. Madden gets it down. Pike. Ball. Gleeson for Carlton. Evans did well to chop him off. Comes back to Gleeson. And he gives away a free kick here for a high tackle within scoring distance. Peter Wilson and a bear hug from the bear. Uh, that close up, he did have him round the neck, didn't he? Well, I said within scoring distance, but the man on the mark is Madden. <laughs> <laughs> and he's about 40 metres from goal, so it'll need to be a top kick. And about 6 foot 11, too. You've got to clear him That's first, right. Good tactics by putting Madden there. Kick by Wilson. Stretch the hammies for that one. Oh, it's a good effort. That's a great kick. So the Eagles back in front by five points. And a very good kick up into the breeze there from Peter Wilson. He's been a very strong player also. He gives somewhat of a balance to the Eagles lineup with Warsfold in the back. And now Wilson playing across half forward there in the matchup with Mill Hanna. A very strong one. But a very good shot on goal there. Up into the breeze. The Eagles have started well. So five points of difference either. Look at Greg Williams weaving his way through on the left foot. Kernan and Jakovic. Well played by Jakovic to spoil. Here's Gleason a chance. Hand pass. Williams. Oh, great hand pass. And racing in the goal. He's missed. Free but a free kick. kick for him in the back. It will go to Bradley, was it? Or Mitchell. Mitchell. It was Mitchell. And did you see Williams use of the ball then? Oh, oh so quick. Have a look at the handball. Now here's the push in the back. Yes. Umpire right. He had missed. And the ball back with Barry Mitchell, the former Swan and Collingwood player. So Mitchell's had a good season. He's directly in front. He should kick this to put the Blues in front. He stabs and goes. The Blues by a point. Much uh, 
hangs on to the responsibilities of Barry Mitchell. He's the addition to this Carlton side in the small man area. Uh, David Parkin has always looked at instilled smalls and quicks into his side. In looking to make up for the loss against Essendon in the grand final last year, Barry Mitchell becomes a key man, and in his 200th game, he's kicked a good goal. Mitchell already prominent with nine possessions. The Blues by a point. Seven and a quarter minutes to quarter time. Madden out of the middle. That'll bring rain. Kernahan behind. Oh. Crashed into the pack. Warsfold to McKenna. McKenna towards the outer side. Matera with Bradley. Bradley is its foil. What man-on-man -man tussles we have right around the ground. That's a highlight. McKay. And McKenna just got a fingernail to that and saw it out. Drew that uh, the Eagles have made a move already. Don Pike now has gone on to Greg Williams and Turley's gone off him. Dominant player early wins. Now the umpire's found a free kick in the ruck contest. They'll go to Ryan Turnbull. Well, I've already uh, sung his praises. He's a greatly improved player. Just clears the centre wing area. A bit of a uh, well, it was man on man, and the umpire deeming that Michael Sexton was one in the strength department against Jason Ball. In the half forward, Gleeson marks. Adrian Gleeson should be centering this to right into the uh, down the spine. But he's doing exactly that, looking for Kernahan against. Oh, good mark, Steve Kernahan. He was in front. He arched the back. Terrific mark in front of Jakovic. And there's some feeling between those two. It's a big call by Mick Malthouse putting uh, Jakovic down in, in, into the full back position. It doesn't allow him to play the game that he wants to, and he's playing it now on Kernahan's terms. So Kernahan has kicked one. They need this, the Blues. They've got the breeze. Not a huge breeze, but it's certainly a, probably a three goal breeze to the left of screen. The Carlton captain. Beautiful kick for a goal. Two goals for Steve Kernahan and the Blues lead by seven points. Two goals to Kernahan to follow up. Four goals last week against Bays and then five the week before against Langford. He certainly is the man there for them. The, the goal kicking extraordinary. Led the goal kicking every year that he's been at the Carlton Club and he's the one now. Chris Lewis, Peter Dean across the half back line. Gee, there's some heat in this game. A terrific contest at Prince's Park between the top two. Free kick to Mitchell, and Barry Mitchell has started white hot. This will be his tenth possession. Kernahan leads from the goal square. In his direction. Dropped a bit short, and McKenna did well to get a fist to it. And see the ball out. Free kick against Kernahan, who charged on in his approach to the mark. Banfield's kick to half-back flank. Wilson, a goal kicker. Helping the defence, numbering up. Evans walked it out. It was over the line, I think. <laughs> yeah, Hold, holding the balls of the crowd. He was nearly <laughs> in the crowd. You could hear it. Um, I reckon I could hear those young kids from behind the fence there. Madden, oh, free, could have been a free kick to turn. I thought he got him across the neck there. Taken away by Williams. Williams looking for Kernahan again. Worst fold, determination plus as he dived at that ball. Oh, in went the boot from Sporting. Mitchell White drops it. Now, how the umpire calling play on as Evans gets it to Worst fold. Worst fold further afield. Turley getting the hoots of the crowd. He's had his number taken already. Chips it in the half forward to Wilson. Wilson can't mark. Hannah. Oh, dangerous hand pass, but Silvani saves the day and Steve Silvani races away. Brilliant football by Silvani. Bradley from behind Matera. Back towards the wing it goes. Craig Bradley with the run of it. The crowd rising as one. McKay back to Bradley. What a goal this would be. Banana kick by Bradley. Thing, I think he should have given it to Kernahan, but it... Oh, 
Tremendous run right in front of the crowd. The Carlton supporters right behind him all the way. The give and go. And then of all things, the South Australian checkside banana to go in. Excellent. Carlton on a roll. Two to finish. 27 plays, 14. Here's Kernahan. Into the pocket. Dive. No mark. And oh, helped over the line. Not on the fall. It will be a throw in about 40 metres round for the Carlton goal, but this Carlton crowd has come alight because their side has really got a bit of a lift and a run on all of a sudden when the Eagles look the better side for the first 10 minutes. Here they go, straight to the line. And in fact over, so another throw. There's Johnny Worsfold. He loves these big contests. He's got that mad stare about him, Terry, that you used to have. He's a good backman. Bradley, eight possessions and a fantastic goal. Biggest lead of the game so far, Carlton by 13 points. Drew, I called earlier that Pike had gone on to Williams. I was incorrect. Turley still has the task. Still just under four minutes to go to quarter time. Carlton in attack and a chance for more goals. Kernahan wins in ruck. Spalding tries to hook the ball back. Turley did well. Ball, says the crowd. Play on, says the umpire. And now a baller. It's amazing what the crowd sees, isn't it? The, the way they always see it their way. When that was obviously a play on decision. So the bounce. 40 metres out from the Carlton goal. Kernahan doing the ruck where Mitchell White has it punched away. Main wearing. I mentioned before how he loves playing against Carlton. He kicks it across the ground. And that is a beautiful kick by Main wearing. Peter Matera, he and Bradley having a colossal duel on the wing. There's Matera, seven possessions, Bradley eight. Spalding wins. Alvin helps it up the ground. Banfield might have been tackled then when he didn't have it, but the umpire calls for the boundary throw. It's a bit stiff, wasn't he, not to get a free there? He was tackled when he didn't have it. I'll say he was. Close enough for Carlton again. Okay. Main wearing. Oh, doesn't clear the area. <laughs> Luckily to Warsfold. The kick by Warsfold. Out in front of Jakovic. Here comes Kernahan. Oh, overrun by Jakovic. Kernahan didn't find the line. Oh, says the crowd again. But I to throw it. Jakovic very lucky there. He put his hand in where his body needed to go to take the ball. Too big a gap there, Glenn. So it's at half. Kernahan doing a power of work. Tapped it down with the left hand. Here's Kudafides. Gives it to the danger man, Williams. Williams, oh, look at that. Around the corner he goes. Christo with a chance. Can't mark. Tommy Albert is there. Christo again. He's been harassed by Don Pike. And the umpire sensibly is going to bounce. And we've got... Just over two minutes of play left in the first term. Peter, that's a strange matchup. They've got Don Pike playing as a specialist half forward flank on Ange Christou when perhaps, well, actually, there's a swap there now. I think he's going to get back to get Turley now. I would perhaps would have looked at Hetty for a burst now. Madden in ruck. Yes, and Pike has gone to Williams now. Brown, haven't seen anything of Fraser Brown. Here's Bradley and Matera once more. Well played, Bradley. Then dragged down, gets it back to Spalding, running out of room. Looks for McKay, and seen out by Matera. Oh, he did well then, Peter Matera. Have oh, a look at the build on him. He, he would have the perfect build for a guy of that size. No wonder he's got pace. I'd like to back him in the stall gift, keep him... I'll run him dead for a couple of years, Drew. There is a mark taken by Williams. Not paid, was it? Yes. Off he goes, the Carlton champion, in the world's half forward, Kudafidis. Well played, Greg Williams. It's like watching Paul Couch at the MCG yesterday. Williams' delivery, absolutely perfect. Well, they said he wouldn't play two bad ones in a row. Last week he was well held by Darren Presley at the SCG, and he has opened like a storm here today. Anthony Kudafidis, a very long kick. He's directly in front. He should kick this. He stabs and goes. Well, it's ending up a pretty good quarter for the Blues. 5-3, plays 2-2 in a solemn-looking Mickey Malthouse. 
And Ian Miller there, former Fitzroy player, was on his team. Yes, Mick's got his problems just at the moment. Uh, Kudafidi's coming down off the wing there to take that ball in front of Kernahan. A good addition to the goal scoring power that he can come in from there and be able to convert a good opportunity. Fifty seconds remaining. Hook back by McKay to Brown. Look like a bit of a throw. Bradley to Williams, and Greg Williams has it again. Takes his third mark. And would you believe he's coming up for his 13th disposal? What a quarter of football by Greg Williams. A centering kick. Pog. An unlikely target, but he found him. Drew Carlton have really taken over in the centre bounce as West Coast Eagles won the first two centre breaks. Carlton have taken the last six. Well, and that's not the sort of thing that uh, the wind will help you with. That's just winning the ball in a 50-50. Kemp standing the mark about 45 metres out. Hogg to kick from about 50. After the siren. This for a four goal lead. Yes! Well, they finished the quarter up fire, Carlton. And certainly got value with the threes. A standing ovation for 6 3 to 2 2. The Eagles got to be careful here. This is a very important opening period for them, and they need to keep themselves in tight control of the game, not get emotionally involved. Umpire Andrew Coates to bounce the ball to start the second term. His father was a great field umpire, the late Ian Coates. Tremendous umpire he was. Now, centre wing, there's Andrew McKay. Here's Mill Hannah. Back to Ratton. Ratton to the half forward line. Worsfold using his body well. Gets it to Kemp. Dean Kemp to half forward. Hannah versus Wilson. Oh, Hannah's dropped it. Let's Wilson in. Here's Sumich and Silvani. Sumich, Silvani, a brilliant. Oh, yes, a one handed mark. A brilliant mark, Silvani. He'll be too strong for Sumich, I would think. Sumich does need to lead. Uh, that, that is Stephen Silvani's forte in there. It's not Peter Sumich's. He's got to get out and lead. Didn't he cradle that ball down beautifully? Madden not paid the mark. It comes to Ratton. He's kicked to centre wing. Punched away. That was by White. Close to the boundary line. Brown. And Fraser Brown acquired first quarter with two possessions. So the ball on centre wing. A big quarter coming up for the Eagles. Kicking with the breeze. Here's Don Pike. A quick kick. Now, courage is needed. Oh, Tommy oh, Albert. Oh, just the man for it. And the ball in the danger zone. You don't know what's coming, Terry. Every footballer's been through that. Would never have taken a short step, Tommy no, Albert. No, Tommy Albert. He's pretty tough. Up towards half forward. Evans. Caught. Loses the ball in the tackle. Fraser Brown gets it to Mitchell. Mitchell up in the air. But this should be a safe mark to Djakovic, who read it well. And I don't know about a fullback Djakovic and lose his drive at half back and he's run now hand pass comes to Fraser Brown around the corner he goes to Gleason and Gleason's marked at 50 <laughs> and worse foul just letting him know he's around he could have cleaned him up then he could have too but it would have been 50 metres and well a free kick's been paid for I've let to Kernahan. I'm not sure he didn't stage that a little bit. Djakovic having plenty to say, and I thought, well, let's have a look now. Look, dives forward. Oh, come on, umpire. What do you think, Terry? It's I a very thought... tough call. I, I think we saw one yesterday where Gary Abbott threw himself away before anyone had touched him. Well, that was my first thought that it was a stage, and looking at the replay. Well, uh, probably a good result. Yeah, perhaps someone higher than us also. Thinks those, it's man on man, those man on man contests, you've got to let them go unless it's real interference. Yeah, I, I believe so too, Peter. When we saw here a couple of weeks ago, uh, Carey and Tim McGrath, great strength by both players, allowed to go on by the umpires. Very entertaining. Could have feet, he's doing well. Alvin near the goal square. He read that perfectly, Tom Alvin. And Warsfold, or Hart, going straight past him. 
and it's a 50 metre penalty. Alvin surely would have kicked the goal anyway, but he's now going to be right on the goal. Well, I think that's against Guy McKenna for running across the mark. He followed his man. Simple goal to Alvin. An important one into the breeze for goal. Well, how's that for a lead? 32 points. It's a very good lead at this stage. Uh, Tom, Tommy Alvin, normally coming off the bench, has had the start today. But here's the key to it just at the moment. Is this boy, Anthony Kudafidis? He's got height advantage over Main Waring. He's, got, he's quick, he's got agility. And when he kicks it, he kicks it long. And that gave Alvin every opportunity to be able to get on the end of it and finish it off. Well, Carlton go forward again through Brett Bratton. Spalding, top tied. There's no doubt about that one. Earl Spalding playing on. Court holding the ball. No. Back it comes to Mitchell White. Chris Lewis onto the left foot. Centers it. Looking for Wilson. He's found him. He's got Ashley McIntosh, but he's running onto his left. He kicks the ball wide, looking for Pike. Pike can get it and run. He's got Williams after him. Pike from 50 metres rings it in towards the goal square. Sumich and Silvani. Silvani thumps it away. They race in after. Peter Dean is there. They've got a good back line. Well played, Chris Lewis. But a beautiful smother by Ange Christo right on the bench. I think the Eagles might have to revamp their lineup a bit here. Sumich. Look at the smother. Oh. It's a great smother. When we talk about the Carlton back lines, just so settled with Christo, Peter Dean, Stephen Silvani and Michael Sexton, all consistent players back there and all knowing what each other does. Williams now with Pike on him. And Pike gets the kick. A high ball short of the goal square. Silvani with a punch. Christo and Hannah combining. Hannah, clever kick round the corner. Spalding no mark. And the ball out of play for throwy. 7-4 Carlton, two goals to the West Coast Eagles. The Eagles a record of 15-5, Carlton 13-6 for the season. A lot of people think these two teams will play off. There's Bradley going without it. Ryan Turnbull oh, just bombing it up in the air. He couldn't do much else, mind you. Socket off the ground. Turnbull again. Here's Bond around the corner. Bond hooks it. One behind only. But really, uh, Carlton looking far more dangerous when they get it into attack, Terry. They are, and Michael Malthouse now starting to swing the change with Mitchell White coming off from centre-half back and Brennan coming on. I'm amazed Brennan didn't start. He's going to centre-half back on Spalding. Mill Hanna. Pokes it up to Ratton, still behind half-back. I think it's negative thinking playing Jakovic at full-back. The kick by Rat. He aims for Matt. Here he is with Turnbull. He's a hero here at Princes Park. Harry Matt. Blind hand pass. Did all right. Gets it out in the direction of Christo. Wilson in hot pursuit. And umpire Dennis Rich calls for the boundary throwing. Peter Wilson kicked a top goal into the breeze in the first quarter. But the Eagles need a few with the breeze now. Madden goes for the big thumb. Bond can't keep it in. Robbed of the chance of seeing the two Bond brothers perhaps playing on each other today when Carlton's uh, Bond was dropped and played in the early game. So almost at half forward for the Eagles. Nothing happening for them at the moment. Here's Matera. Now Bond. Tommy Elvin put his body in. And up by Dennis Rich says it's my ball and he will bounce it again. Madden versus Turnbull. Turnbull doing all right considering he's giving away a few centimetres. Using his body well, but Madden, too much height. Gets it down towards Bradley. Free kick will go to Jason Ball. He's, I think he's been moved on to Spalding. Yeah, it's just Jason him Ball. across now, and Brennan's gone back to the front. Yeah. Well, Jason Ball in towards McIntosh. Main Waring is there, appealing for the free kick. Up by having none of that. Kudafidis was there. Umpire calling play on. Main wearing trying to press forward. Kip goes to ground. The umpire bends it again. And the Carlton players, oh gee, they're pretty ferocious today. Well, how could you count the tackles that were laid in there? It was just one after the other. Look at that knee brace for Ashley McIntosh. 
might say it was just a very last minute selection. Evans to Matera. Kick by Peter Matera. Oh, look Good at distance kick. on the turn. Oh, Dean. Oh. Comes for Sexton. And Christou takes the mark at right half back. 46 to 15. Carlton leading by 31 points. Matera intercepts on centre wing. So Peter Matera. He and Bradley having a magnificent duel. He should be kicking right down the spine of the ground now. And he decides to chip it in short to Guy McKenna. Carlton have just got the Eagles all clogged up at the moment. This is not the way that Nick Moldhouse would like to play the game. Well, they're Beckman too. Carlton's Beckman have got the forwards pretty well covered. Banfield. In towards half forward, they're hoping Brennan or Williams can take a uh, mark. Uh, Wilson, I should say. Williams gets it away to Sexton. Back to Williams. Williams with a sweeping hand pass. Finds oh. Hannah. Back to Williams. He can't pick it up. Dean Kemp is there. Will it sit for him? No, it won't. But they're harassing and time. Getting away from uh, the Eagles with the breeze here. A good quarter by Carlton. Well, oh, that just looked like Williams building on his stats. Turnbull and Madden. The tackling is fierce. Gleeson had it for a millionth of a second before Evans claimed it. A lot of players around this ball up. When we consider how physically hard the Eagles were against North Melbourne last week, this is a very good showing by Carlton. Dean, hurried kick out of defence, close to the boundary line, and run over by Hart in between the wing and half forward for the Eagles, and we'll have a boundary throw in. Nothing happening on the scoreboard for the Eagles. They have the breeze and they've managed just one behind, and we've been playing ten minutes in this second turn. So again, it's Turnbull. And Williams gets in another hand pass to Kudafidis to the half forward line. It's thumped away. The Eagles through Banfield. There's nothing happening here. They need Sumich to start doing something down there. Thumped away. Straight to Pike. It was thumped away by Silvani. And here's Lewis at the back. Oh, I can't mark. He's got two to beat. Ratton gets his boot to it, but there's nothing happening up forward for the Eagles. And I really believe Mick Mothouse has got to start making a move to changes up on the forward line, maybe get McIntosh down a full forward. Yeah, Peter Sumich is certainly playing with our confidence. He's only had two two goals last week, and the week before, one goal four. He's not, not working confidently at all. Well, Harry Madden dominating the hit-outs, and he finds Williams this time, who balks a hand pass, then kicks the centre wing, gets it back after the punch by McKenna. Brilliant vision out to Mitchell. Great play by Williams. Mitchell's kick. Albert! Brown, a snap, and a goal by Brown. Calvin running away with it into the breeze. And Greg Williams continues to be the instigator in this. Don Pike during this early part of the second quarter has tried to get off Williams, gather some possessions himself and try and nullify Williams wandering off by himself but it's with no avail and Williams just keeps going in his own particular way and Fraser Brown there coming in to kick his ninth goal of the season to finish it off very well again. Turnbull and Matt, here's Lewis, around the corner he goes to the half forward line, Brennan, Bond, Mainwearing, Mainwearing's going to bomb it in long, they need someone to take a mark. Oh, nearly a mark taken down there by Kemp. Couldn't do so. But look at that strong Carlton defence. Silvani kicks it out wide looking for Dean. But both of them quite happy to see it roll over the line. But this Carlton defence just too strong for the Eagles forwards. I know that the Carlton players had a council of war last week on the flight back from Sydney after losing to the Swans. And the evidence of it is coming out here today. Kudafidis jumps and takes clean possession. But it's going to be a free kick to Turnbull in Ruck. Sun breaks out on a grey day in Melbourne. Surely too far out to score. Madden, the man standing the mark, he must look like a city skyscraper. He kicks 10 metres short. Silvani doing a great job back there. Gleeson, well shepherded by Ratton. 
Kick by Gleason, not great. Chance for the Eagles. Jakovic. Williams, another possession. McKenna. Look at how hard it is in there. Are you glad you've retired, you two blocks? <laughs> <laughs> well, Terry, I'd love to be in the middle oh, of that. This is your caper. This Wheels. is a great game. I mean, we're on a tight ground here. We, 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 everything is, every ball has to be won very hard. Uh, we'd see Brett Hetty now on the boundary line. A move that had to be made there by Mick Malthouse oh, to try there. and get some forward momentum and some goal scorers on the ground for himself. Well, their forward line is just not functioning. Sumich is still at full forward, hasn't had a touch. I mean, uh, McIntosh not doing a lot at centre forward. Uh, Lewis wasn't doing much down there. They got Kemp down the foot, but just nothing happening for them. The Carlton defence too good. The Carlton defence too good. Their midfield too good, and therefore Carlton have kicked the last seven goals of the game and uh, don't look like being stopped just at the moment by the West Coast. So this is a real test for those players. How do you stop this sort of a run on and try and rest control back? Well, let's see if Mainwari can do something here. He can't. Mitchell. Evans is there. Banfield, good play. He's looking for McIntosh. McIntosh, the big thump. 30 metres around the boundary line and over the line. Now you reckon Brennan should have started. He started late and was benched after, what, 10 minutes, and he wasn't very happy. Well, I think he should be full back. That's where I think he should be in Jakovic centre up back. Well, actually, Jakovic has moved has gone out, out there now. Yeah. And it's Jason Ball. Now, that's still a very... Uh, that's a good move. Hannah dragged down. Oh, a go off the ground. That was Ratton. Alvin. Well played by Tommy Alvin. He's still got it. Brown. Ridden into the ground by Lewis. Oh, was that a trip? Now, what happens here? Exactly. It's... Where's the report? Now, that was a foot trip, not a hand trip. Where's the report? They're so inconsistent. Now, on centre wing, here's Turnbull. Ask Corey McKernan. As we see Don Pike bring it in towards half a great mark by the little fella Adrian Gleeson. So Gleeson at half back for the Blues. Brings it out. He's looking for big Justin Madden. And, oh, they love him here. Look at him go. Madden in towards half forward. No mark to McKay. Williams is there. And Alvin. Now Mitchell. They're working overtime, the Carlton players in the packs. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Greg oh. Williams. Down to the dangerous Bradley. Matera hot on his hammer. And Matera puts it over the line. Now, we are eight minutes short of half-time, and Williams has had 20 possessions. And yeah. you can see his teammates, every time he goes near, like Craig Bradley just took off as soon as Williams got near to that ball, knowing that there was a very fair chance of gathering it. Man, you get 60 possessions, he keeps us up. Kick by Brown to the goal square. Kernahan off the ground. Evans goes back, Matera clears the goal square. All Carlton here, they've got plenty of time. Hannah and Wilson, Hannah has support. McKay, pass, Alvin, who's been a good player on the forward line. Four marks he's taken, Tom Alvin. Kernahan looking for one in short. It's 52 to 15, Carlton beating the Eagles. He's got to go to the top of the square here. I can't see Tom King in this one. Distance, 50 metres. Well, it's a good kick. Great oh, kick. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Well, Wills, I agree with you. I didn't give him a break. He's done it there. That's a tremendous goal from Tommy Olbert coming in there. And as you call, Drew is doing an excellent job across the half forward line. Uh, he knew his side needed to lift this week. He would have been one of the main senior players involved in the, in the discussions during the week post the Sydney game. And he was always going to make a difference. And today he certainly is. Well, this is looking like a hiding. At the moment, as Don Pike gets it down towards Kemp, look at the harassing of the Carlton players. It just the Eagles forwards cannot get an easy kick. McMold has is throwing Lewis into the into the onto the ball now, taking Kemp back out of the play with Hogg. Hogg has certainly held him down. Madden, a big thump away. Here's Bond. 
Back to Lewis. Lewis chipping it wide. He's looking for Hitty. Hitty running back with a fly to the ball. Can't get there. Sexton is there. And McIntosh. McIntosh onto his left boot. Can bring it into Ryan Turnbull. It drops short. Oh, great pick up by Turnbull. On to Hitty. Hitty on the left boot. A chance for a goal. And Brett Hitty has hooked it and kicked it behind. They needed a goal badly. They need numerous goals. Revan's back on the ground. Now, let's see where he's gone to. He's gone to Tommy Elvin, and I think that's a fair move, and that's not a bad that's position. That's a good matchup, him. actually, yeah. that. Well, Carlton have kicked the only three goals of this quarter, and they're going into the breeze. Silvani kicks into Sexton. That's not a bad sort of a kick into the breeze. Sexton got it about 70 metres from goal on the bounce. It went past McKay. Here's Bradley. Showing great pace, Craig Bradley. Kicked a sensational goal in the first quarter. His hand pass to Gleeson. 50 metres out. Short for Cunningham. But you can't move the ball better into the breeze than Carlton did then. Oh, they're playing uh, champagne football, Carlton. Sticks Cunningham going for his third. The Eagles shell-shocked at the moment. Kernahan kicks through it. Does the crowd like it, or do they? They weren't sure. A behind for Kernahan. He's kicked two goals, three. At the moment, the marking is 27 to 17 in favour of Carlton. Kicks 76-62. Hand passes 44-34. So Guy McKenna finds Evans. Tony Evans on the left boot brings it down towards half forward, hoping McIntosh can take a mark. He almost did. Couldn't quite hang on to it. And the Carlton players lock it in. So a bounce. 55 metres out from the Eagles' goal. Nothing happening for them at the moment. Now look at the centre breaks. In the second quarter, West Coast 4 to nil, And yet, they've been well beaten in this term. Here's Williams again with another hand pass to Mitchell. A quick kick. Out towards Jakovic. Jakovic traps it. Gets it back to Lewis. Lewis on the left boot's going to bring it in towards the pocket and he finds Peter Wilson. Wilson a long way from goal. And he's bombing it in long here now. They need someone to take a mark. McIntosh is there. He's got it. Kemp is there also. Now Bond. He can't get his boot to it. A by called play on as Sexton drives it out of the danger zone. Lewis. Oh, but coming at the back. He's badly to thump it over the line. This game is going to cause a revision to Premiership predictions. I think it will, and uh, one of the key problems that uh, Mick Moldhouse has is in at full four, where Peter Sumich isn't working confidently, nor his teammates looking for him with any de degree of confidence. Perhaps Mitchell White off the bench to either full forward or centre forward, and Ashley McIntosh to share the workload with him. Maybe an opportune moment to have a look at that one, Mick. Well, most people thought the Eagles were hot favourites to win the flag. They've lost two out of their last five. They had a last quarter fade out last week against North and are being blitzed by Carlton here today. Free kicking run for Madden. The free kicks are nine to eight in favour of the Eagles. Madden approaching 300 games. Centre wing, Spalding! Oh, he flew like a bird. Williams found Ratton. Ratton gets the hand pass through. Not a great one to Gleeson. He was tackled high, no whistle. Williams went in for the tackle and has hurt Greg Williams. Meanwhile, his man Pike to full forward. Sumic hasn't had a touch yet. Silvani. Hetty with Sexton. Hetty did well. McIntosh hasn't been in the game, actually, McIntosh. Kudafidis, some sort of a hand pass, comes up to uh, Dean. Now centre wing. McKay, well played. Alvin's kicked two goals. Goes off the ground, Tommy Alvin. Ooh, in with the boot. Still there, Alvin. Look at the desperation. Williams for his millionth possession. McKay, a hand pass. Tackled by Mitchell. 35 metres out. Mitchell gets the goal. His second. It's a rout. This is, uh, this is just all out of proportion here for the West Coast Eagles. They haven't got anything at all going for them. Their, their ability to be able to shut down the engine of Carlton has been blown right out of the ballpark. Williams just consistently getting into the football. Bradley, now Mitchell continue on to be in there. There are just too many good players for the Carlton side at the moment. 
brilliant team play by the Blues. The Eagles are shell-shocked as Williams controlling this game like the general he is. Goes forward again, there's Djakovic. Now Mainwaring. Mainwaring kicks wide. Bond versus Christo. The bounce was a cruel one for Bond. Christo. He's got, oh, they've got backup support everywhere. Carlton Kudafidis. He was looking for Gleeson. Back it comes towards Don Pike. Uh, Pike getting onto the right boot. Just tries to centre it. Looking for Ryan Turnbull, but big Justin. Now Turnbull got a chance. Here's their chance. Sumit should mark this. He really should get there. Ah. Uh, that's nearly a goal. This could be a goal to the Eagles. Yes. It's bounced through for a goal. Now, Savali thinks he touched that before it went through. Uh, Gee, that would be a good one to have a look at. Fair dinkum. It wouldn't be the that's, first uh, Looks like Kemp, touches. is it? Looks like Kemp might be hurt. Yeah, that's Kemp. Well, we... uh, Ryan Turnbull, let's have a look at it. Oh, fine That's a line. tough call, yeah, with the goal umpires there. I guess we need to go with him. So a goal to Turnbull, and it's taken them more oh, nearly 25 minutes to get a goal with the breeze in this quarter. Wilson hacks it out. Hannah floats one wide for Bradley. Support from Sexton. Kick to half forward. Oh, Jakovic drops a mark. Williams will get three votes easily if he keeps this up. And Jakovic, none. Alvin to Gleeson. Centering kick. Kernahan. No mark. No free kick. Ball doing all right. Gets a hard kick out of there. The two Ruckman. Will Turnbull kick the last goal? He's running away from Madden. He's taking it to half forward. Goes bang with a long oh, one. Oh, look at this. Silvani. Well, they've got no idea up forward, the Eagles. Absolutely no idea. And that kick was obvious. Silvani was running back on his own. And Turnbull kicked it straight to him. Unbelievable forward play. I'd be making a major reshuffle right now. Here's McKay. On the Ratton. Bradley. Long kick. Kernahan versus Ball. Well played by young Jason Ball. They're having a great battle down there. McKay races at it. He smothered it well. Oh, good play, Andrew McKay. A wobbly kick to half forward. Appealing for a free kick down there was the Carton player. It was a, it's, let's have a look to see. Who, in fact, it was it was Fraser Brown, number 20, Fraser Brown. But and the Carton supporters hooting. They felt that Fraser Brown should have got a free kick, but boy, the forward play down the other end, terrible. 43 points the margin in the last minute of the first half. Mad beauty. McKay to Gleeson. Gleeson might have interfered with Mainwaring. Warsfold gets the hand pass out. Mainwaring on the run. The Eagles desperately need a goal. They've got 27 seconds left. Half forward McIntosh. Hetty running onto it. He's got an open path to goal. Brett Hetty goes from 40 metres. He passed instead of going for goal. Missed the target. Now Bond. He nearly walked it over the line. Hart switched from defence to attack. He was led by Holt, well, free kick to Hart. Well, why isn't that reportable? I don't think it should be, by the way, Drew, but that's what they've been pinging them for. Yeah. Well, here he is, way out of 50, David Hart. But he is one of, one of the longest kicks in the team. There's the kick. It's a beautiful-looking kick. Might have just missed. One behind only. There's David Hart, the Carlton supporters roaring with delight, standing ovation for their team. And let's see if it's a deliberate trip. Look, a lunge by the player. Well, certainly he got him round the hips. He started high on the hips. He started so high, went low. Here. But uh, Carlton go in now with a, a great degree of confidence in their work. Greg Williams there has been a mainstay right throughout the, in the engine room of the ground. And they've done extremely well, Carlton. A uh, sensational quarter by the Blues. They kick four goals to one into the breeze and lead by 42 points. 10-5 to 3-5. One into the breeze and lead by 42 points. 10-5 to 3-5. Being picked up by Silvani. It's all very much as it was. Bradley and Matera on the wing. 
We start the second half, a seven goal lead to Carlton. Turnbull wins. Wilson hits it very hard and hits the ground very hard. And there'll be a baller. Drew Michael Malthouse has obviously gone to his players and is, is working with them as individuals rather than doing anything structurally with the side. He needs them to make the lift individually. Madden works to the front position. But uh, he was out right there. It goes to Williams. 25 possessions in the first half of football. Off the ground, Sexton. Spalled in good hands. Bradley. Standing start inside half forward. Ball in front. And he's done quite well since going there, Ball. He has so. It's a, you know, very one, and that'll be a good pick-up for Malthouse to have Ball as an alternative key defender to play. He looks a defender too, and he's big enough to play on Kernahan as McKenna gets it to Jakovic. I'm much happier to see Jakovic out at centre-half back. Here's Bond sprinting away and uh, wobbly kick to the half-forward line. Hedy drops the mark, but he gets it out by the Matera. Matera, well played Peter Matera. Again, terrific vision, and he finds Peter Wilson. Now, Wilson kicked the goal from here uh, in the first quarter. Similar position. And he is a good kick of a football. And John Worsfold's coming to the bench. Well, let's hope he's not injured. There he is, the captain. They wouldn't want to lose him. So, Peter Wilson kicks a goal. It swings back. And one point only. So that would have been a handy one. Yeah, Wasfold didn't good. go off. No. He had something to say to the bench. There's Hannah still in the back pocket. And in a heap of space is Fraser Brown. Over centre wing with his kick. But he's given it to the opposition to Guy McKenna. Into Don Pike. Long kick. Wilson. Charge hard at it again. And he is one bloke who's having a red hot go for the Eagles. The yeah, emergency, I think... yeah, the emergency umpire ran out and gave something to the field umpire, and it was after after an instruction from Warsfold. Now Warsfold's off. Now is this blood rule? Is this? It's bound to be the blood rule, isn't it? That'd be the only thing to take him off there, I'd suggest. Now Peter Wilson to have another go. Second in a minute. Gave it plenty. A lot of height. Didn't quite get there. And touch through for a behind. So a big task confronting the Eagles now because they trail by 40 points as Christo is a beautiful kick. Out towards two defeaties. Good mark, Ashley McIntosh. Oh, the kick's going to go straight to Williams. Oh, boy. Greg Williams having a real field day here. But not good play by McIntosh. That ball only travelled about 30 metres. I think Simon Atkins once had 50 possessions in a game when you were coached, didn't he, Wills? Uh, yes, playing in the centre. But, uh, Greg Williams here is coming through again. He's well, right on line to do it himself. Well, he gets it in the hand up. Oh, look at Silvani down there. He's looking for a hand pass to Sexton on the Hanna. Here they go to the Blues. Mill Hanna brings it down to full forward. Madden, oh, he couldn't mark it. Shipping across in front of Kernahan, and eventually it's forced over the line by David Hart. Well, that's one thing the Carlton have got to watch now, that they don't all get involved in trying to score goals, and uh, that was not the place for Justin Madden. That's Stephen Kernahan territory down there. Could have feed his clean possession. What skill! Touched by Brennan. Oh, gee, there was a bit of Shane Warne about that. It would have been a great goal, wouldn't it? Look at that break away from Brennan. He just got his hands. So David Hart. Now, why isn't Guy McKenna kicking in? Uh, just have a look where he is. He's out in the boundary line. He normally kicks in. So he's going to receive from David Hart. So this champion half back, well, he was looking for the short one. But Jason Ball was covered. Now Guy McKenna to the half back line. Madden taps it down, ends up with it. So I threw it on the ground. That's throwing the ball. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny to watch. 
Our horse filed off the ground, Dipper. He certainly is, uh, Drew, and uh, he's having uh, ice applied to his left knee. But I don't think it's anything serious. Yeah, I didn't see any blood. There's Ball going from centre wing. Running onto it is McKenna, who's come all the way from the back pocket. And here he is at right half forward. Eagles working into the breeze and trying to chip away at a seven-goal deficit. True, that must be a concern to Mick Malthouse with John Wartsfold going off again. He only resumed last week after three weeks off. With a bye next week, he won't have much match conditioning going into the finals. Hog a little hand pass to Mitchell. Here's Greg Williams again. 29 possessions for Williams. Danger here to Bradley. Oh, he played that brilliantly. Oh, here comes Matera, though. Might have underestimated Matera's pace, Greg Bradley. He's got it on the 50. Backs out of trouble. Oh, fantastic football. Right in front is McIntosh. He chips over the top. Sumich will get a touch. That's his first touch of the leather. And we're at the six-minute mark of the third quarter. And you would think, well, certainly McIntosh just bring his full forward into the game because... McIntosh surely could have made the goal from where he was. So Peter Simic. His first kick gets a goal. Gee, gave it a hook too. Well, the Eagles needed that. The first score of the third quarter. Most definitely they needed that. And uh, the, the, the only good bit of play out of this was it wasn't a great goal for Peter Sumich. was Matera's ability here just to buy some time, be able to thread the ball into McIntosh. I suggest that McIntosh was really feeling sorry for Sumich to give him this shot at goal. And he has a lot of work to do on his own personal confidence as Peter Sumich. 66 to 31. Let's see if the Eagles can get a couple of quick goals. Don Pike. Down towards Hetty. That's good play. Hetty punches it away. Goes in after it. Good play, Brett Hetty. Knocks it on the McIntosh. Brilliant play by Hetty. Subic a chance. Kicks and hits the post. Gee, that was good play by Hetty. And maybe they're just lifting the tempo a little bit. I thought both boys, Brett Hetty and Ashley McIntosh, both of them attacked the ball. They remain focused on the ball and the ball alone. He taps it on here and McIntosh comes in to relieve the pressure. That's the quality they need to have in this, this third quarter. Silvani kicks the cover off the ball. Madden tries to help it on. Mitchell Rhodes. Bradley. Well played by Bradley. Thumping distance. Conahan. Great mark, wasn't it? Well, 65 metre kick in from Silvani at full back, and it finished up in the arms of the full forward in a trice. Well, the Eagles got the first goal of the third quarter. Can Kernahan answer here? His kicking hasn't been perfect, two goals, three. From 30 metres out, no trouble. <laughs> 40 points the margin. That's a well, well practiced and very specific kickoff move here that Carlton use when they have a player of the size of Justin Madden in the side. The long kick, Madden never ever attempts to mark those balls. He's always looking to knock them on, and the Bradleys and the Mitchells getting underneath, and again going quickly on the, on the ground. Kernan playing in front. That's a great piece of play by the Carlton side. So we'll have Madden versus Turnbull. Must get the shorter Ruckman must get sick of confronting Madden with his height. Here's Matera. Oh, good play by Peter Matera. Wins at the half forward. McIntosh and Hetty. The bounce. Hetty punches it back. It's all Carlton. Peter Dean. He'll probably go to the line. And he does exactly that. So it's at half forward for West Coast. Brett Hetty has given them something. Peter across half forward. There's, just, there's a little bit of spark there. So umpire calling play on Ratton. A quick kick. Kudafides back with the flight. Mitchell. Well played by Mitchell. Kudafides. Williams. Oh. oh, cleverly done by. What about that handball? On the sporting. Oh, here's danger for West Coast. Turn a hand. Oh, brilliant, Mark. 
a great mark, Stephen Kernahan. And look at the Carlton fans. They're wrapped. Class by Kudafidis, Williams and Kernahan, all in a row. Oh, did he mark it? I'll give it to him. Yeah. They're hot at the moment, the Blue Boys. Are they hot? Well, they should be swabbed after last week's performance against the Swans in Sydney. As Kernahan kicks free goal number four. It's three. And the Carlton captain. Well, maybe that's why they played Jakovic at fullback on him. They're worried about those marks. He, he just does everything, Stephen Kernahan, doesn't he? A man of his size, uh, the agility that he has, the strength in the air that he has. A uh, leading goal kicker every year that he's been here. He certainly is a focal point and a tremendous play for the side. Madden roves his own ball and kicks out of the centre square. Alvin been a lively half forward. Pushing the back, free kick to Michael Brennan. Alvin down hurt. Slowly gets to his feet. Kick by Brennan. McIntosh at the back camp. Centering kick. Sumich. Oh, Matera with pace. Somehow he lost it and Bradley's down hurt. Oh no, he's up and running again. Here's Gleason. Silvani, the fullback, in the centre circle. Kick to half forward. Spalding. Turnbull spoils. Ball. Slightly off the side of the boot. Oh, climbed by Mitchell. Madden. <laughs> Big Harry gets it to Mitchell. He's pushed to the ground and will take the free kick. And Mitchell hasn't been too far behind Greg Williams. 20th disposal coming up. Yes, Barry Mitchell's been a terrific player for Carlton this year. Here's Ball and Kernahan there having a terrific battle. Guy McKenna went without it. Tony Evans, a quick kick to the half forward line. Wilson's trying hard. Hannah. Pike, will it sit for him? Umpire calling play on and a fair decision. Now, Tony Lynn's just come on and didn't he lay a great tackle there? Great tackle there. Technique was right, got his head out of the way, strong upper body, really put the stop on it. And the ball would not sit. Well, there's Williams. We won't count that one as a kick, I don't think. Ooh, there's a throw. There was a throw in that pack. So it'll be a free kick to the Eagles going to Evans. But this is where their problems are. Here's Sumic now on Silvani. Sumic, Silvani, a 35-metre punch. Oh, boy, he's well on top down there. Guy McKenna. Oh, he went without it. This is the Blues day. And guess who's got it? Greg Williams. And look at this. Out to his partner in crime. Bradley, plenty of time to chip it in. And the mark is taken by Tony Lynn. Now, he replaced Alvin, who went off injured, and he's killed him since he's been there, 30 seconds. So, uh, Tommy Alvin apparently got a blood nose. But here's uh, Lynn, a former Brisbane Bear, then went back to South Australia to play. And, and there's Tommy. He's been a good player, Alvin. Been a good player for a number of years, in fact. Now, here's Tony Lynn. Don't tell me he's going to come on the ground and kick a goal. I'll tell you what, it's not bad. It's a goal. This is champagne football for Carlton. This is perfect football. It, it very much is. And uh, players like Tony Lynn, very important acquisitions to the side. He's one of the players who didn't play in the grand final loss last year, along with Anthony Kudafidis. They're the ones that really have to make the difference. And Tony Lynn has added to the Carlton side to some degree of versatility. Last week he was needed to go back to defence. This week, coming off the bench into the forward line, he is a goal kicker for them and does very, very well. 84 to 32. Evans to Matera. He stumbles down, loses control of it, was pushed by Mitchell, and he'll get a free kick. Tangle of legs 50. and a 50 metre penalty against Mitchell. Not sure it was all his fault. Well, Matera will probably be within kicking distance now. Mitchell's still on the deck, saying what? Good. That shouldn't have been 50, should it? Matera was the instigator, wasn't he? Oh, ridiculous. Peter Matera. And his hands full with Craig Bradley. 
right in front. Just outside 50 metres. Oh, what a kick! Got the distance all right, but just offline. He had to hook it to get that distance. It was a huge kick, wasn't it? Mitchell's still and going crook. Well, he's right. He's dead right. He knows that uh, the umpire was con. Well, here's Christo. He's a beautiful kick, too. Well, look at this loose man out there, Craig Bradley. He's kicking it. Oh, he's giving one back here to Williams. Let's see what he can do, the champ. Oh, look at this. Terrific play. But unfortunately, the handball just a little bit offline. Sexton drags it in, now gets it out. Here's Don Pike. Pike back to Hetty. He's given them a bit of life. Up towards Bond, and Bond marks way out at half forward. He's a long way from goal. He's going to centre this. He's looking here for Brennan. Brennan goes back. Can't take the mark. Here's Silvani. He's been too good for Sumich. Still Silvani. Kicked away, though, by Kemp. Oh, Kemp's got a loose man. Djakovic is up here on his own. Djakovic racing back. Silvani. Oh, good place. Oh, he's hurt. Djakovic down and hurt. He clutched his knee. Well, we might pick it up in a moment. What area? Let's hope it's not a knee injury. He's holding his knee. As he comes down there. Well, let's hope that that's not a serious one. Oh, gee. There's one out of bounds from the Eagles. I didn't even see the kick, to be honest. I'm too interested in Glenn Jakovic. He's just about vying with Greg Williams for favouritism for the Brown, though. Williams has got a march on him today. But if he was to miss the finals, Jakovic, what a hole it would leave in the Eagles. But he's up and walking and shrugged off the trainers. Hog. Here's Williams and Pike. Spalding skirts around, takes a wide arc. Big Harry Madden. Listen to the crowd rise to him. One, oh, Kernahan out number two to one. Off hands, McKay. His hand pass missed the target. It was Lynn. Kernahan. Snap for goal by Kernahan. Another one. Three for the quarter, five for the game. Carlton are just so even right over the ground, aren't they? From uh, from Silvani being aggressive at the ball, uh, that fullback on Sumich, through Peter Dean being so consistent, steady on McIntosh, Williams in the centre of the ground, Spalding giving a focus to centre half forward, and Kernahan at full forward, tremendously even. Well, they can do no wrong. We see Ratten getting it forward. Here's Jakovic. Good to see him up and about and running. It didn't look too good for a minute. He clears it towards Matera and Bradley. And it's forced over the line. And Tommy Elvin, we saw him with that blood nose earlier. About to come back on. So Madden and Jakovic do the ruck work. The Eagles with a bye next week. And a free kick to Jakovic. A holding decision. But he wouldn't want to take Tony Lynn off for Tom Elton just at the moment, would you? Well, he's uh, pretty stiff. Mm. Now, is that 50? No. Djakovic. The half forward, McIntosh. Petty is there, McIntosh and Bond. Here's Evans. Bring it in towards half forward. Wilson dies, but Hannah chips in and takes a good mark. Uh, this, this isn't the same team which to come so meekly last year in the grand final to Essendon. They're wearing the same colours, but you wouldn't recognise it. Here's Mitchell, the hand pass away to Hogg, straight up the centre corridor, the kick by Hogg to centre half forward. Brown almost pushed into it. Gets the hand pass out. Here's Lynn again. Ducks the high tackle, gets it away to guess who Williams. Floats one back to Gleeson. 40 metres out, Adrian Gleeson. Don't tell me! When you're having a good day, it all goes your way. Carlton now have kicked 14 of the last 15 goals as Tommy Olven comes back on. Tony Lynn did come off for Tommy Olven there, but this has just been so dominant. And Adrian Gleeson 
coming through from the centre of the ground, has really been able to finish stuff off and has been his 19th goal for the season. And in all that, Sumich has come off and White has come on to centre half forward. Well, Sumich's position on the side will be under question now, I think, as we see Bradley go forward. Curlahan, yes! He's kicked five and will now probably kick his sixth, although it's going to be a very, very tight angle. Oh, this is like a feeding frenzy, isn't it? Well, Peter Sumich has had a shocking uh, four. Here he goes, uh, Kernahan, bang, for a goal. Six goals to the Carlton captain, and have a look at their fans. 16-9, 16-6 plays 4-9. West Coast Eagles have got some real problems here now. There's not much that Mick Malthouse can do in this scenario. It really belongs to the players. The, the amount of control that Carlton have got can only be stopped out there. And this is a real testing time for the leading players of the West Coast Eagles side. And Johnny Warsfold, uh, Don Pike in the centre. There's Banfield there, Brett Hetty trying to stir them up. But somewhere, sometime, an Eagles player now has to stand up and really get their side back onto the track. Not just for this game, but for the final series. The Blues have brought up their century. Kernahan's kicked four goals in this quarter. Six for the game. Hogg's hand pass out. Main oh. wearing swapped. Built into the ground. He'll take a free kick. And he knows he's played a game of football. Gleason. Out to Pike. And the umpire's going to allow Pike to take it. Well, he's picking up Greg Williams, and Williams is 34 possessions, and we have five and a half minutes to go to three-quarter time. True, Tony Lynn goes off. David Park has got too many good players. Mick Malthouse hasn't got any. Yeah. Well, Tony Lynn is stiff, as you pointed out. He can't do much more than he did in his five minutes. Against Silvani here, and a kick for goal by White, who has just replaced Sumich. Mitchell White for his first score of the afternoon. Trying to get the Eagles' second goal of this quarter. It's a goal, all right. Well, the crowd booing. They want a feast of Carlton goals. I suppose it's what visiting teams get in Perth. Oh, a free kick, no That's doubt. definitely a free kick there, and at least Mitchell White was playing in front. Has been a player that has struggled to get the games this year through injuries, only playing his fifth game today, and I think this is well worth a go by McNulthouse playing in at full forward. So, Turnbull versus Madden. Turnbull won that one. Here's Wilson, soccering it off the ground towards half forward, Hitty and Sexton. Here's Hannah, well played Mill Hannah. On the Bradley is having a great game. To half forward, the flyer was Fraser Brown. Or Jakovic loses the ball in the tackle. Races after it, Glenn Jakovic. He'll be quite happy to see the boundary line here. So will David Hart. And they help it on its way and over. Jakovic, two marks, 11 possessions in this quarter. Six to one, the free kicks. And overall, 16 to nine in favour of the West Coast Eagles. Ball underfoot, tunnelled by Spalding. Ratton, I think it was, out of the pack. Through it goes, Kudafidis. Threatening, and the ball out of bounds next to the behind post. Under the scoreboard, which shows Carlton 16-6, West Coast 5-9. Kernahan has kicked six against Jason Ball, who hooks it back. There's Fraser Brown with a quick kick. And one behind only. It's a psychological, uh, good psychological effort this by Carlton. Because they'll probably may meet up with the Eagles in the finals. So this guy McKenna brings it to halfback. Here's Drew Banfield, who's been pretty quiet. Banfield races around the outer side of the ground and brings it to centre wing. McIntosh and Dean. Here's Ratton. A quick kick clears the line, I would think. No. Centimetre perfect. And uh, a throw in, not out on the full. There's Brett Ratton. Well, quite often, a team which loses a grand final one year will come back and win it the next. The Eagles did it prior to their premiership. 
And, uh, well, the last Saturday in September last year, we're making Carlton sick for 12 months. And they're making up for it. They've got uh, a couple of months to go. They're going the right way about it. Hannah. Here's Ange Christo. Three minutes 40 remaining in the third quarter. In this term, 6-1 Carlton to 2-4 the Eagles. Carlton have had the breeze, and Kernahan's kicked four of those six. Here's Matera. Oh, easy mark dropped by Lewis. Now he goes off the ground, off the fingertips, into the arms of Christou. Long kick to full forward. Kernahan gets to the back of the pack. McKenna caught by Kernahan. The hand pass drops short as a result. And what's the umpire playing here? Free kick against Kernahan, and now 50 metres. He wanted the free kick because Kernahan stayed with the tackle, slung McKenna to the ground after he disposed of the ball, and the 50-metre penalty was that Stephen went and chested him to the ground. Actually about a 30-metre penalty, wasn't it? So, Guy McKenna to half what he's looking for Pike over the back of McIntosh, and McIntosh flies to take the mark. Got to move that ball quickly. The crowd calling for play on there. Now Ashley McIntosh, long way, Hetty on the lead, very crowded, Wilson on the lead, there he is, and he thinks he should have kicked it to him too. Now he's on the, on the lead, he was looking for Mitchell White then, but uh, he kicked it to a rover who was behind. Yeah, exactly, and the mark taken by Gleeson, but it was meant for Mitchell White, it was a poor kick. Kick by Gleeson. Don't like Bradley's chances here. Lewis punches. Here's Williams. Oh, takes it away from Pike. Brilliant football. Now I like Bradley's chances. Williams will get another possession. Bradley almost stopped. <laughs> Let him catch up. Kick bounces inside 50. What a take by Ratton. Here's Alvin. He's kicked two. There's nobody back there. Bounces away from goal. And the ball out of play. 103 to 39 late in the third quarter. Two minutes left. Earl Spalding to do battle against Ryan Turnbull. Turnbull showed a lot of stamina today to ruck all day like that. Now, Williams again gets it to Ratton. Around the corner. Touched. Or was it Fraser? That was Ratton. But uh, point to Carlton. Now, there's Tony Lynn. He came on and kicked the goal and laid a great tackle and now benched. But nice and relaxed as he looks on. Tony Evans marks at half back. Kick by Evans, working it up the ground. Pike, Hart, Banfield. Here's Drew Banfield, the full forward. Heady, two number ones. Silvani spoiled. Bond, back to Brett Heady, who snaps a goal. His first goal for the afternoon. Well, they're coming home with the breeze in the last quarter. They need to kick 10 goals to nothing. They do need to kick a lot of goals here. And Brett Hetty is one of the players who needs to take some degree of responsibility for that. He's only kicked the one goal here this afternoon, only one goal last week. And he hasn't, you know, even though he's picked up now some 33 for the season, he hasn't been the dominant player across half forward that we are used to. So Madden versus Turnbull. Madden wins that one to get it forward. Guy McKenna tries to get in a hand pass. There's Ratton again. Oh, look at him. Williams. Kudafidis. Kudafidis court gets in a hand pass. Trying to tap it on. Main wearing harassing. Good umpiring to let it go. Williams again. Spalding. Fraser Brown. Ratton and Matera. And Matera takes it away. Pike. Now, which way will it bounce? It'll bounce in favour of Pike. He can give it here to McIntosh. Oh, oh well played, Peter Dean. Beautiful smother. And the Carlton crowd love that. That's tremendous stuff. I mean, you call Peter. West Coast Eagles were away. Pike only had to get it over the top to McIntosh. But then Dean pushed in there. Here's Barry Mitchell. Back to Hannah. Shrugs the tackle of Wilson. Hurriedly on the left boot. Was it touched? Gleeson. Kudafidis. Here's Greg Williams again. Another hand pass into Ratton. 23 hand passes, Williams. Kernahan. Alvin roving. Tommy Alvin in the pocket. Oh, look out. Hart's there to take the mark about half a metre out. Drew, Justin Madden has gone off with a blood nose and Matty Allen comes on for his first run. 
Allen playing just his second game. He starred in about 10 minutes that he had on the ground against the Brisbane Bears in round 15. Kick by Lewis. High climb by Christou towards the boundary line. They want to keep it in. There's Allen. Christou. Oh, terrific hand pass. Gleason. Siren sounds. Another winning quarter for the Blues. And they lead by 59 points. 16-8, 104 to 6-9-45. For this game. Umpire Andrew Coates about to bounce the ball. Glenn Jakovic has gone off. We saw him injured in the third term. So Worsfold and Jakovic, two of their important players on the bench. Here comes the man of the game. Rick Williams, look at this. Out towards Kernahan. He's got it too. Steve Kernahan has kicked six. Gets it to Fraser Brown. Back to Kernahan. Further field is Kudafides, who chips it into half forward, and Tommy Elvin has taken the mark and will kick from about 45 metres. What about Williams out of the centre? <laughs> it was like a mini minor getting through a traffic jam of trams. Well, he's had 17 kicks. I've never seen anything like it. Terry has with Atkins that day, but 17 kicks and 23 handballs oh. through. And, and every one of them a real class position. Tommy Elvin kicks for goal. It's not bad. It's a goal. So the Blues are going on with it. And Greg Williams strides back to the middle of the ground. Tommy Elvin has kicked his first. Three. Or second, I should say. No, three. three, is it? Oh. And that is somewhat surprising. I mean, Tommy of late has not been a goal kicker for the side. He's been working off the bench. But this is a great little addition now to the armory of the Carlton side for the finals. He's now kicked 13 goals for the season, Alvin. Mitchell runs onto this one. 50 metres out. Hoist it up high. Kernahan gets it to the front. Tackle applied quickly. Eagles clear out of defence. Williams after it again. Give him another possession for a subterranean hand pass. <laughs> Turnbull. Brennan. Matera now. Well, a 30 metre hand pass. A ripper to Pike. Don Pike going for a run. Good chase by Hannah. Oh. Kick to no one. Well, he must have seen an Eagles jumper in the crowd to kick out there. And every one of the Eagles forwards was like McIntosh soon as the ball given the dagger look back to Pike, and rightfully so. That was a terrible piece of play by Don Well, Pike. maybe that's half the trouble with their, uh, their forward line is some of the delivery, don't you? They wouldn't want a turn more to get hurt. He's really battled his heart out. He's limping around there now. McIntosh versus Madden. Madden will be too tall. He hooks it down with the left mid. Now... Off the side of the boot here was Peter Dean. Just clears the line, so it'll be out on the full. So this is Mitchell White, who replaced that full forward Peter Sumich. He's not at full forward now. Oh, Sumich is back there. He's at the back of the pack. Kemp. Now Mitchell, he's been a good player. Silvani been well on top at fullback. Off he goes, Williams again. I oh, smothered that hand pass. Here's Drew Banfield swinging onto the left boot, brings it back. They're racing in towards goal is Matthew Hogg, and he thumps it through from behind to the Eagles. Oh, Turnbull flexing that knee. Still a bit of a limp. Well, Harry Madden, he just won't lie down. 18 games short of 300. And he's not giving that youngster, Allen, a chance. I can't believe that the Eagles aren't using an outrider system here against uh, Carlton. They're just breaking away from these kickoffs just far too easily. What a great kick by Bradley to Kudafidis. Not such a sensational kick by him, but it bounces through the pack well and sits up beautifully for him. He centres, looking for Brown, but a diving mark. No, drop by ball. Here's Brown. Back he goes to Will Spalding. 40 metres out. Gleeson from behind interferes surely and the free kick to Evans definitely free kick there and actually uh, Adrian Gleeson was lucky not to give away a 50 metre penalty when he kicked the ball away here's Lewis helping out to take the mark Barry Mitchell Bradley or cleverly done by Bradley this is Bond at half-back, brings it to centre wing, two on two here, oh, too good Carlton, 
the remark taken by Sexton. So Michael Sexton finds Andrew McKay. McKay out to Dean. He can give it a spalling with a little chip pass. Oh, just over his head. Now, yeah, which way will it bounce? McKay went past it. Taken away by Hart. Now, Sumich on the lead, but Hart's going to bomb a wobbly putt down towards the pocket. The diving attempt was by Hogg. Kept oh. taken over the line with the ball. And ferocious tackling by Silvani. Oh, they're a desperate side, Carl. Now, Dean Kemp has had four possessions for the day. Unheard of, isn't it? Matthew Hogg is an extremely tight player and has done a very good job on him. Oh, Madden in ruck again. Here's Kemp. Yeah, give him a kick for that. Oh, Heady. No. Nope. He missed was, it. He was right on the line. Not sure how he conspired to miss that. Well, he bounced a kick into the post from about half a metre away. So, Chris Do. It's a long... Peter Dean. Around the boundary line he goes. Brennan races at it with Elvin. And it's forced over the line. Very impressive performances by Carlton. Close to the finals. Brennan and Elvin are very good match. So I still think Brennan's best football is played at full back. Maybe Mick Malthouse thinking he's not tall enough for Kernahan. Hannah is here. Matera was grabbing. He didn't have it. And free kick, Peter Matera. Peter Matty Allen coming on now to do the ruck work. And big Justin Madden going off for a spell. Craig Turley also back on the ground in that normal turn. Oh. oh, boomer by Matera. That is about a 65 metre kick. Kemp will take a free kick right in front. Well, hardly sighted all day, and uh, I've seen him more in the last minute than I've seen him all day. And this surely should be a goal to Dean Kemp. We have him for five kicks for the match. That's number six and a goal. His first score today, 17-8 to 7-11. So Dean Kim, six kicks and one goal, whereas last week he was 21 disposals and three goals and was a very good player for them. I think this is where uh, Carlton had the edge over the, the West Coast Eagles at the moment. They've been really able to shut down the Eagles' key players in the midfield, but also then be able to generate enough freedom for their own players to be able to do enough and ensure that the drive is always going Carlton's way. Bit of a wink from the, for the cameraman from Harry, having a rest. <laughs> <laughs> he looked very happy with himself. No wonder with the Blues, 10 goals in. But here he goes again. Greg Williams on the coup de feeties. To the half forward line, Evans takes a mark. Off he goes onto the right boot. He's looking for Lewis, but Ratton gets here to put the pressure on. Well done by Chris Lewis. Inside the pike, Don Pike. He should run and bounce here, but he kicks a low trajectory against Silvani. Brilliant on Sumich. Taken away by Hannah. Great play by the Blues. Christo belts it wide. And that man again, Greg Williams. Well, it's worth uh, counting them up. It's uh, now 17 and 26 for Williams. Up to half forward we are now with Spalding. The Eagles have it. White. Oh, Evans sold into trouble there. They'll lose it. Brennan with Alvin. Alvin tackling hard. Forces the turnover to Spalding. He balks. Straightens in the pocket and McIntosh takes the mark. I'll be watching on Brownlow Middle. Oh, McIntosh takes it and plays on the white. I'll be watching on Brownlow Middle at night to see if Williams gets three votes for this game. And if he doesn't, never a greater certainty in, in <laughs> life. I don't know. As we see Hannah on centre wing, if he doesn't, I'll take the voting off the umpires. Here's Williams again. The seeds from Bradley. What's he going to do? Look at that hand pass. Out wide to Dean. And the back man might have a kick a goal. Peter Dean! Oh no, he's hooked it. The crowd was roaring. But he's missed it. Uh, there was one night, Terry, we were sitting next to uh, Terry Wallace Brownlow night. He's had about 35 possessions and was vocalist not only for that game but for the season. 
Yeah, well, it, I guess stranger things have occurred. You know, I mean, they've been great players for Carlton all day. Bradley's been a good player, Kernahan's a good player, Barry Mitchell in the midfield. They've all done extremely well, but uh, Greg Williams certainly been the class act. The kick nearly reaches centre wing, and Peter Feeders, what an artisan he is. Out to Christo, back to full forward, Kernahan with a run, but gets there late. Wilson drops the mark. Brown still putting on the pressure. Gives away the free kick. The Carlton fans who are close to that are not happy. McIntosh takes it across the ground to Hart. 7-11 the West Coast Eagles. They've kicked one goal, two in this quarter. White from centre wing. Again, poor disposal. It sits up well for Kemp. He just slips past Hogg. Finds Turley. Reported early and benched for most of the game since. Kick to the goal square. Silvani back there and happy to see it through for a point. It's worth reflecting on the fact that Williams was Polak's twice in the space of a minute in the first five minutes of the game and they still won't stop him getting 50 possessions. Well, see, I think Terry at the time made the point the harder you hit him, the better he'll come up and play. William, if he's a tough nut. Now, Gleason. Centre wing. Oh, Greg Williams again. Here he comes. He's one down in the back, no, holding the ball. Well played, Chris Lewis. Well, maybe he won't get a vote. <laughs> and Chris Lewis putting their hands up. He's got no one to kick it to, so he's got to bomb it in long. Matura is there, Dean at the back. I oh, read that well. Peter Dean going to chip it out for Bradley to run onto the ball. Kemp's after him. Bradley's got it. Kicks it in front. He's got uh, Kernahan down there, McIntosh down there. I think that's McIntosh's best spot down there at full back too. Matera couldn't get away with it. And it'll be a throw in on centre wing. Uh, Don Pike looks as though he might be coming off for the Eagles. Dangling a left arm, not looking too good. Should I need the bye next week? Kernahan, clean possession. Hand pass didn't quite reach Bradley. Back he goes to Kernahan, doing the work on centre wing. Not a bad tackle by Matera, dispossesses him. McIntosh. Late tackle by Brown, relayed free to Hetty, who took the mark anyway. Sumich one out. Christou gets in the hole to take the mark. Oh, the Blues can do no wrong. Ange Christou towards the outer side. A raking kick, look at the distance. And Allen takes the mark. Done absolutely nothing wrong. Well, they think he's going to be a very good player. They just haven't been able to fit him in the side because they haven't had any injuries, Carlton. And the side's had a very good year. Here's Monkey Brennan. And he takes a good mark. I was surprised when he didn't start. He and Hetty didn't start on the ground. Brennan and Hetty. I think they're two vital players for the Eagles. Here's Turley. Kemp versus Hogg. Well played, Dean Kemp. Very good play. Good umpiring to let that go because Kemp was the one doing all the hard work. Free kick to Hetty. Gee, that was good umpiring. It was. And both players played it well. Dean Kim attacked the ball. Matthew Hogg waited at the appropriate time until possession. Peter Dean and uh, Peter Matera, a few words to say to each other there. The Eagles boys better be careful. They don't want to end up being uh, in the umpire's book at the end of the day through frustration. Uh, the point I make about that other one, that was the best rule in umpiring. Common sense when... Kemp had battling his heart out there, and the umpire eventually he let it go. So here's Hetty from 55, brings it in front of goal. The high flyers are there. Oh, good mark, Jason Ball. Terrific mark. Right in front of goal. So it looks like a goal coming up here to the Eagles. He's kicked one already. Wrong mark in front. Kicks a goal. So Jason Ball kicks, has kicked his second. And Greg Williams not happy claiming a push in the back. And he's always had plenty to say to umpires yeah, over the years. That, that is not a vote catching performance. Well, he got 44 positions one game last year, and we were sitting around on Brown Day Medal night, and he didn't get a vote. He's got 44 today. was going off with uh, an injured left arm by the look of him, but uh, he stayed on. We've got a new football. 
Greg Williams is worn out, the old one. Matthew Allen, who's replaced Harry Madden in ruck, and he wins it. Straight down to Ratton. The Blues into attack again. Alvin fighting hard. Oh, this is great stuff. Fraser Brown busts the tackle. 52 metres out. Kernahan and McIntosh. Alvin for his fourth. Just offline. Having a field day, Tommy. Oh, just starting to bleed again. Don't let the umpire see that. Well, there's uh, some talent. Ryan Turnbull, Glenn Jakovic, and at the back, you can't see me, John Worsfold. So, some pretty good players on the bench. Resting injuries. There's a long kick straight out there, Steve Kernahan. Good target. Two defeatings. Oh, good diving mark by Fraser Brown. And he's only 35 metres out directly in front. This has been really premiership type football by Carlton today. If they take this attitude into the finals, gee, they'd be hard to beat. Their back line is just so strong, Terry. It is, and, and uh, that, that allows for initiation of a very strong run through the midfield. Now, there's the kick from Fraser Brown, and he's drifted away to the right. 17-11, plays 8-12. Guy McKenna, playing without the gloves today. Matera, oh, it's chopped off by McKay. Matera waited rather than approaching the ball. And Carlton, even with a match-winning leader, still hitting the ball hard. Just that moment's hesitation from Matera in attacking the ball, and McKay had no hesitation at all. It's only his fourth kick for the day. Right in front, 40 metres out. Goal! So Andy McKay here playing across the half forward line today has uh, kicked his third goal for the season and uh, he's been a very durable player for the, Hort, uh, the Carlton side since coming over. He's played in every game. I think he's only missed one game in the last two years since coming over from Glenelg and has certainly given them a real added toughness to the dimension. 119 to 60 as Chris Lewis brings it back towards Sumich. Oh, too good, Silvani. Far too good. He brings it wide to Allen, who's moved. Oh, he's a good mover, this big fella. Oh, he's a player. A left footer brings it in towards Spalding, who was harassed off the ground by Kuda Fides. Here's Guy McKenna out the Turley. He's still getting the hoots of the crowd. He had his number taken early in the game. Mayne Wearing's gone right out of the game. A poor kick by Mayne Wearing over the head of Lewis. And Ratton happy to see it up, roll over the line. Main wearing 12 kicks, no handballs. The free kicks. You wouldn't believe that, would you? Four to nine. There's Blade in front. Main wearing to Wilson. They might have been a bit reckless with some of their tackles, I suppose, the Blues, because they've just torn the flesh off the uh, Eagles players today. Here's Wilson. And out of bounds on the full to loud cheers here from the Carlton faithful. Just under eight minutes remaining. And it's an absolute pasting, a 59-point lead, which is the same margin as at three-quarter time. Now just looking out at the crowd, you, the more they win by, the more delighted they get, these one-eyed supporters, don't they? With Tommy Elvin coming off to a hero's reception. Top game. Now the kick to half-back. Here's Turley, caught. Williams again, gets in a hand pass, taken by Pike. Here's Dean, Peter Dean, a little chip pass over the back. That's a good mark to Chris Mainwaring. So Mainwaring, oh, they've gone wide. That's Jason Ball on to Bond. Bond up in the air, hoping someone, Hetty, Hetty or someone can take a mark. But look at that. Peter Dean again, and he gets it to Ratton. Hogg on the run, Ratton. Mitchell, Chris Dew. Kick by Christo. Spalding. Spore by White. Ground level. Lynn again. Fraser Brown out to Kernahan. 
Brennan wants the boundary line. And the umpire calls for the throw-in alongside the behind post. We've had two goals each in this last quarter, which is as even a quarter as we've had. The Blues won, led by 25 at quarter time, 42 at half time, and 59 at three quarter time. McIntosh to Hart, across the face of goal. All one on one here, Matera and Bradley. Matera did beautifully. McKenna over the top to Brennan, who didn't take it at the first grab. Top tackle by Lynn Lewis. Lewis to centre wing, Matthew Hogg and Don Pike, two of the stoppers of the game, playing on each other. Umpire called play on. Here's Hetty. Another free kick for the Eagles, and the Carlton supporters don't like it. But I think the umpiring's been very good. Over the back, Sumich races after it with Turley. Turley, a clever, oh, he tried for a clever one, still going on with the Turley, but harassing him with Silvani. Good defensive play by the Blues. I think the umpires have been up by very very intelligently today i think so they've allowed all players to be able to attack the ball get an even go at it uh, it's just today that uh, carlton have been far superior in all aspects of the game well hannah really left at that pike clever just offline for a behind his first score for the day harry madden looks happy with his day's work very yeah. happy well, Alvin with a bit of blood there and gleason on the bench he get hit with a sledgehammer drew he so he keeps smiling uh, Big Justin. Yeah, He's lucky, yeah. lucky he beat the rap at the tribunal, just by the way. Oh, I don't think we'll forget about the tripping one at the moment as we see Guy McKenna has got a free kick. Ironical cheers from the Carlton supporters. Kudafidis in the world Spalding. Mitchell White putting in a lot of pressure on Spalding. That's three or four times. White's come over the back and jumped into Spalding, and Spalding feels as though he should have got a free kick there. So, Spalding versus Ball. Oh, he copped one across the head then, uh, Bell Spalding. You'll hear the cheers now. It's their 11th free kick for the game. Off he goes. He's looking for Kernahan. McIntosh in front. Thumped away by Peter Matera. Here's the big fella, Big Allen. Oh, he did that well. Onto the left boot. Brings it back. Kernahan at the back. Oh, good play by McIntosh. And eventually around the corner. Bradley's kicked the ripper. No touch. The field up by a must have signaled touch. The ball went through, but it must have been touched off the boot. The crowd was roaring. And still five and a quarter minutes to go. Bit of fun I'm having is counting Williams' possessions. He needs five more in five minutes for a half century. Kick by White, long to centre wing, main wearing. He's had a good couple of minutes. Grey and overcast here at Prince's Park. And uh, gloomy outlook for the Eagles for their trip home. Williams ran straight past it. He might get it back here, though. No, McKay's hand pass goes to Hogg. Matthew Hogg short to Bradley. 50 metres the crowd wants. <laughs> well, if Craig Bradley can kick a running banana as he did in the first quarter from about 40 metres. He'll knock this through easily from a set shot. It's been a great performance by Craig Bradley right throughout the day on the tier. If can finish this one off. Nearest to 28th possession. Perfect. His second goal, he won't get two more different goals, and the margin's now out to over 60 points. Remember, they were beaten by 66 in the first meeting. The most important aspect out of this game of Bradley has been that uh, he is now an additional player who can play a material in the finals. Chris Lewis down towards half forward. Uh, Bond did not smother at Sexton. One of those underrated uh, defenders in the game. Brings it back to the half-back line. Number 32, you see on the screen, Adrian Whitehead having his first run. I thought David Glasgow had made a comeback. 
Whitehead playing his fifth game for the season, recruited from Wodonga. Well, strong football area up there, Ovens and Murray, Aubrey, Wodonga area. Now, main wearing. Umpires paid a free kick against main wearing here. And it will be a Carlton kick in these young uh, Whitehead. It's going to Ratton. Brett Ratton. He's very highly thought of at Carlton as he brings it in towards the half forward line. Good mark taken by Brennan. Three minutes 20 remaining in the game. McKenna on the run at centre wing. Short to Turley. Hooks of the crowd every time. For an incident with Williams in the first quarter. Turley in the book. Centering kick. Oh, Sumich can't take a trick. Gets a hand pass. Even that wasn't too good. A half volley for Kemp and he's fumbled it. Hannah to Lynn. Beats the tackle, Tony Lynn. Oh, very high kick. Oh. No advantage to the side. Hannah, well done. I've lost it though. Oh, good tackle by Hannah. Hogg regains it. McKay, Mitchell, little one to Brown. An interception, Kemp. Dean gets that back there for Carlton. Happy to see the ball out. The margin is 65 points. The Eagles won round seven by 66 points. And Drew, I think we're, we just saw an indication there. Peter Sumich just doesn't want the football anymore. He's, uh, he's looking slow, he's looking dejected. He's well out of sorts. That's what happens when a man plays you that tight and uh, you just lose your confidence. And I think he's totally lacking confidence, Sumich. There's uh, Bradley tapping it back towards the line. And with two minutes and 20 seconds left in the game, he's quite happy to see that occur. It's at half forward for the Eagles. Just looking for Sumich's, uh, Peter Sumich's stats. Uh, two kicks, one handball for the game, and one goal. So there's Guy McKenna, taken away by Ratton. He's been a good player. In towards Bradley. Bradley loses at the ball. Evans, free kick, umpire paying advantage here as Tony Evans weaves his way through. Here's Peter Sumich at the back, but Silvani with a big fist. Matthew Hogg, the ball bounces for him. The lead is on. It's a good kick, and he finds Tony Lynn. Well, Lynn, with his minutes, has done absolutely everything asked of him. Kernahan caught behind. Rovers ball. Banfield. Kemp, high one for McKenna. Now ball. Up to centre wing to Matera. Drops the mark, but has plenty of time. Centering kick. And might get a last consolation oh, goal. Should have been off. Off and running. Under a minute and a half left. Kicks in short. Wilson marks. And Peter Wilson, 13 possessions. Mick Malthouse and Ian Miller looking shell-shocked there. Wilson, agrees at his back. Distance, 53 metres. Nearly. It's over the behind line for a score. And Peter Wilson today, one goal three. So Steve Silvani, magnificent job. He's, he has had a magnificent year. Silvani in his best position, I feel. For back. Oh, gee, does this kid move well? Uh, Allen, for a big, tall guy. He must be about six foot nine. And uh, just so mobile. Ratton. Hannah. Yeah, oh, he's off. Umpires called play on. I assume he didn't want to get him either. They're just uh, having possession football at the moment. Uh, Whitehead down here for Mitchell. Mitchell's got a couple to beat. And Drew Banfield took it over the line, way out on centre wing. David Parkin will take a lot out of today's game. It's been good for him. We just mentioned it. Matty Allen's showing some form in his short time here. Tony Lynn. Uh, but uh, the one impresses me have been Craig Bradley in the Matera matchup. Now, Parkin has not only Bradley to play on Matera, but up his sleeve he has Hogg, he has Hannah, who have all done jobs on him in the past. And that's a great addition to the Armoury for the final series. Williams has only had six possessions, you know, in the last quarter. And uh, fresh in the umpire's mind is the last quarter. Might miss out on three votes. Full time here at Princess Park. A resounding win for the Blues. They have booted the league leaders, the West Coast Eagles. The margin 64 points after they themselves were beaten by 66 the first time round. 
What a performance. One week they lose to the bottom side, and the next week they come out and decimate the top side. And the West Coast Eagles have lost their third game in six and won't be the odds-on favourites for the flag. Many thought they were. Down on the ground, here's Dipper. Well, sorry about that. Tripped over the, uh, the wire there, and we couldn't get the sound. Craig Bradley, what an enthralling battle he had with Peter Matera. And uh, Bradley was fantastic with 29 possessions. Uh, Matera himself had 22. He did all right, but Bradley started the game with that running banana goal, and that set the trend. The Blues, 19-12, leaving the ground to a standing ovation. The Eagles, 8-14, 62.